It's uh, Casper with Stag. I'm here with this week's uh, app development. Uh, we can see here uh, the model of the dragon that I recently um, created. It's uh, quite good. It looks great on the in the app. Um, I'm very pleased with the outcome for this one. I do think it needs some special effects though, doesn't it? Oh well, we'll get that in there soon. Gelatinous cube. I, 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 I'm. It's not IP, so I was able to do it. It's, it was quite a fun model. Um, <laughs> and it, I, I, I really like this one. I think it's very cute. And a demon, or pit fiend, or whatever you want it to be, really. Um, the the UV mapping on it was quite fun, um, and the special effects obviously are pretty impressive. I, I'm I'm quite pleased with it. I think you can kind of um, get a view and an idea of how how fun this would be to put in front of your players or um, to, to bring this to, to to your to your games um, when it's sitting like this. Like that dragon is going to look awesome um, in a game. So here I have um, the 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 human village again. Um, I've done something different with it this time. It is now hyper stable. Even when I move the camera away from looking at it, um, even when I cover the markers up with my hand, it remains in position. Um, and this is something that I'm going to be doing with all of the uh, scenery pieces. The reason for that is that you can't move the pieces. The app is now using the the rest of the world the rest of the image to figure out where the um, markers are located. So even when you cover them all up, the app remembers where they were. Even when you look away, the app will remember where they are, which just maximizes the usability as much as possible, maximizes the stability as much as possible. But you can't move the markers around because the app is expecting them to be in a relative position to each other kind of thing um, is the only issue. So we can't do it with the monsters, but we can do it with the scenery. It works really well. And here's one of the use cases for um, creating these um, tiles that you, you can't really move, especially not in relationship relation to each other. What you could what we could be doing is printing out a town map, or you could be creating a town map at home, printing it out, um, and then you would have all of the pieces guaranteed to be locked in in relationship to in relationship to each other, um, sort of a hyper uh, stable. Um, setting um, and it, it looks really good I think and it works it worked um, remarkably well it's hyper stable um, I was waving the phone around all over the place um, and they was they were keeping locked um, I was looking away and then looking back and they were they were keeping locked Another thing we've done over the past uh, week is we had a little interview with the guys over at Anvil of Wargaming. So yeah, you, you should go check that out after this video. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, like, subscribe, and have a wonderful day.